It followed from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are both are but different manifestations of the same thing. Scientists just witnessed something which seemed to be defying the laws of physics. They detected an object moving at seven times the speed of light. What could this possibly mean? Is Einstein's theory of relativity wrong? Or is there a more down-to-earth explanation for this bizarre phenomenon? In this video, we'll take a look at the evidence for this strange event and see what scientists think is really going on. So buckle up and get ready to go faster than the speed of light. We all know that the laws of physics state that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. But what if there was something out there that could travel faster than light? Scientists have detected a mysterious object that appears to be traveling seven times the speed of light. The object, which is thought to be a jet of highly energized particles, was detected by scientists after they observed a collision between two neutron stars. The jet was released from the collision site at an astonishing speed, which has baffled scientists as it goes against everything we know about physics. It is likely to travel seven times faster than the speed of light. This is an optical illusion caused by the uncommon and perplexing phenomena known as superliminal motion, which happens when particles approach the speed of light. To have a better understanding of the object traveling faster than the speed of light, we need to look into different examples of superliminal motion. When there's a discrepancy between the perceived speed of distant objects traveling across the sky and their real speed as measured near the source, Superliminal motion occurs as a specific example of a more general phenomena. Superliminal motion was observed for the first time in 1902 in the ejecta of the Nova GK Perse, which had erupted in 1901. Thomas David Anderson, an Edinburgh clergyman, made this observation of superliminal velocity. His finding was reported in the German magazine Astronomische Nachrichten, and English-speaking astronomers didn't pay attention to it until several years later. In 1966, Martin Rees noted that a relativistically traveling item in appropriate directions may appear to a distant observer to have a transverse velocity far larger than the velocity of light. These sources, known as superliminal sources, were discovered in the years 1969 and 1970 as extremely far-off astronomical radio emissions, such as radio galaxies and quasars. The discovery was made possible by a novel method known as Very Long Baseline Interferometry, which allowed astronomers to set limits to the angular size of components and determine positions to better than milli arc seconds. In particular, it allowed them to determine the change in positions on the sky known as proper motions over a period of usually years. Well, in our case, researchers found that a jet of energy was ejecting from a stellar collision site at a startling 99.97% the speed of light, or roughly 670 million miles per hour, or 1.07 billion kilometers per hour, according to the findings, and it appeared to travel much faster than it actually was. The jet in question is the outcome of a cosmic catastrophe which made its existence prominent in the field of science in 2017. Scientists discovered a catastrophic collision between two neutron stars that year, 140 million light years away from Earth. Neutron stars are extremely compact, collapsed star cores that compress a sun's worth of material into a ball no bigger than a city. The strong disruptions that were caused by the collision, because it was so violent, gave rise to ripples in space-time that travel outward in space, also known as gravitational waves. When Albert Einstein first proposed his theory of general relativity, he predicted the existence of ripples in space-time. These ripples, called gravitational waves, are created by massive objects moving through space. Einstein believed that these waves could travel outward from their source, carrying information about the events that created them. However, it took a hundred years for scientists to prove it through evidence. Scientists proved it by the collisions occurring between two black holes in 2016. The discovery of gravitational waves has revolutionized astrophysics and provided scientists with a new way to study the universe. By observing these ripples in space-time, we can learn about the events that created them and gain insights into the nature of gravity itself. The gravitational waves produced by the colliding neutron stars in 2017 were the first to be noticed coming from a source other than a black hole, GW170817, demonstrating that many cosmic catastrophes may produce them. 
The release of gravitational waves by colliding neutron stars in 2017 was a momentous event. Not only did it provide the first direct evidence for the existence of these elusive objects, but it also opened up a new window on the universe. Gravitational waves are not visible through the naked eye, but there are different instruments, such as the California-based Large Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO. Astronomers from all around the world focused their telescopes on the merger after LIGO discovered the first wave burst from the merging stars in 2017. Soon after the collision, astronomers observed visual evidence of a high-speed jet of particles shooting out of the impact site and illuminating globules of materials that had been expelled by the stars. With the help of the Gaia Satellite Observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope, and many other radio telescopes on Earth and the European Space Agency, scientists studied that jet. The scientists used these measurements to determine the jet's true speed as well as its apparent defying of physics speed. The illusion of beyond light speed results from the velocity gap between the jet's constituent particles and the light particles or photons they release. It can look like particles in the early portion of the jet are reaching Earth at about the same time as photons in the later stages of the jet, giving the impression that the jet is moving faster than the speed of light. In this way, the object appeared to travel seven times the speed of light, but actually it was an optical illusion. There are a few other examples of superliminal motion which comprehend this event. One of them is the incident occurring in 1994, with the identification of the cosmic X-ray source GRS-1915-105, a superliminal source in the Milky Way, a galactic speed record was achieved. The expansion took place over a significantly shorter period of time. Within a few weeks, it was seen that many different blobs expanded in pairs, often by 0.5 arcsec. This source was referred to as a microquasar because of the comparison to quasars. Precisely, superliminal motion is something that goes beyond the speed of light. This can be interpreted in a number of ways, but basically, it means that something is moving faster than what we can observe. This could have some pretty big implications for us and the universe as a whole. For one, it could mean that there are things out there that we can't even see. If something is moving so fast that it's beyond the speed of light, then it's invisible to us. It's possible that there are entire civilizations out there that we know nothing about because they're moving too fast for us to see them. It could also have some pretty interesting implications for time travel. If something can move beyond the speed of light, then it's possible that it could move backwards in time. This is something that scientists have been trying to figure out for a long time, and if we could ever crack the code, it would be an incredible breakthrough. This phenomenon is definitely something fascinating to think about and have some pretty amazing implications in our lives. I hope this video cleared all your queries regarding the mysterious jet traveling so much faster than the speed of light and going against the laws of physics. What other implications do you think superliminal motion has on our lives and the entire universe? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.